We'll send now to the commissioner, please. Actually, commissioner, come here. You see, we don't have a fancy cabinet room. <laughs> so we still do things by hand. Hello, <laughs> man. Right? What? Yeah. Well, we don't want much. We use the afternoon friends. Say first, because we don't want much. Beautiful mahogany either. Commissioner. Yes. Thank you. I would really just want to take this opportunity to appeal to Barbadians to stay away from outdoors during the lead up to the storm. Tomorrow. Tomorrow and also to be of your best behavior. We in law enforcement are going to be out and we are going to deal with any untoward behavior that we should experience in, in a very strong way. So just appeal to Barbadians to be of the best behavior and to stay off the streets wherever possible. We are prepared for to deal with any, any eventuality. In other words, no joy rating. No joy rating. <laughs> that was a uh, you said this. Uh, that was a, a, a long way to say. Look, the temptation for young and old to joyride is always there, but believe you me, that's the basis from which accidents happen. And I'm asking people. I keep saying. I have a very simple phrase again. When you're dead, you're dead. So please ask people to stay inside. Once tomorrow comes, if you are, and the shutdown comes. Once the shutdown comes, there is no basis for you to be on the road. You're not a member of the emergency um, services. If you have no calling on the road, stay inside and get some rest until the all clear is given. But this afternoon, tonight, and tomorrow morning, hopefully, will be the last finishing touches of getting everybody ready. <coughs> it makes no sense. Uh, and believe you me, I know what it is to be in a hurricane. I was in Gilbert, which was one of the worst to have hit the Caribbean and certainly Jamaica. Jamaicans didn't believe that it was coming. The night before when I asked about it, uh, no, I reckon no, it, Jamaica. Jamaica safe. And by the next day, Jamaica was experiencing horrendous damage, horrific damage. I'm asking persons, please, that if you know that there are people living alone, if you know that you have family living alone, you can always fix back a house. You can't give back life. So bring those persons to stay with you, or if they don't want to stay with you and they need to go to the shelter, make the arrangements and let them carry what is needed there. I don't know how many different ways to put it. With respect to the tourists, the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association has its protocols in place. In addition to their own plans to be able to assist one another as hoteliers, the LESC is also available for any tourist spillover that we have from the hotels as a shelter. Um, and therefore, they are working towards that, um, particularly with the coastal damage. Most people may not realize that one of the most costly systems to have affected this country in the last 30 years is, in fact, more tropical storm Lenny where the coastal damage was devastating, even perhaps more than Tomas that focused on land. So the coastal areas and, and the coastal um, division has advised us that the beaches on the east and the southeastern coast are at their narrowest this time of the year because of the sargassum, and therefore they are at particular risk to this storm. Um, and we need, therefore, to be conscious and cognizant about it. Um, similarly, the airport will await further information before they look at any shutdown of the airport. The Bridgetown port also has all of its protocols in place. And um, at this stage now, it is for all of us, those in government who know what we have to do this afternoon and tomorrow, we do it. And for every household to have their checklist, and tick it off, tick it off, and make the calls and go to who you have to go to or collect who you have to collect and let them stay with you either from tonight or definitely first thing early in the morning. But if you listen to tonight, you'll understand whether you need to be moving anybody out earlier than the anticipated. As it stands, the IMAM is still on course for 8 o'clock tomorrow. 
just literally to the south of Barbados. Um, and that was the flashpoint for me, that we need to be on full high alert, not just tropical storm warning, but full high alert. And we can only do this together. We can only be successful if we do this together. This is not a government of Barbados exercise. This is an exercise of all Barbadians pulling their weight in defense first of life, in defense of limb, in defense of property, in defense of law and order and security. The other thing that I want to say, and the Commissioner is absolutely correct, there is absolute high alert for the police and the BDF because once that shutdown comes, they will take seriously anybody who is on the road who ought not to be on the road or anybody who is engaged in behavior that puts either themselves or others at risk. Um, I'd also like to make a call. When you go through communities, there are a lot of houses, for example, that may still have blocks falling down galvanized and roofing material. Let us agree across every block and community, and I hope some of the blocks listening to me know too, that wherever you see that, from St. Lucie to St. Philip, from St. John to St. James, for the next few hours, let us get access to whatever nails and whatever you need to do to at least try and secure that, because the worst thing is a projectile or a missile or flying galvanized. And I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. So let us, wherever possible, try to secure those parts of the roofs that are likely to be loose. Um, I don't know if there's anything we've left out, Minister Jordan. No. Um, I'm going to do a very unusual thing because the country must know that we have our first responsibility to do the works to take care of ourselves. But I also believe that this is a Christian country and that in addition to that, today is the Sabbath for perhaps the majority of people who live in this country. And I will ask um, Colin Jordan, who is an elder in his own church, um, I asked him to pray just as we dismiss the public officers. But I'd like him to do a short prayer that can go fully to the nation now. Um, but to understand that prayer without works will not get us anywhere, so we need both. So at this stage, before I pass over to Minister Jordan, I'd like to say to all Barbadians, let us work together and let us prepare as best we can for Tropical Storm Dorian it is. I can't remember things with D's easily. But um, Dorian, and let us make sure that as we prepare, that we focus not only on ourselves, but our family, our neighbors, and our community. And may God guide us as we go through the next 36 hours as a nation. You will hear either myself or ministers or public officers over the course of the next 24 hours as required and communication will be continuous and from the secure sources, from the secure sources and not the potential for any fake news to develop. Um, okay, thank you very much. Colin? Let us pray. Father and God, we are very thankful to you for the life that you've given to us. We are thankful for all the blessings that you've shared with us. We face possible challenges today, tomorrow, the day after. We are happy, Father, that you've called us to lead and to be responsible as citizens in this country. We recognize that while you are in control and while you have promised to protect us, you've also said to us that faith without works is dead. And so as we prepare for any challenge that may come from Tropical Storm Dorian, we pray that you'll give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding, help us to see what needs to be done, help us to treat this matter as one that is important, one that is urgent, and help us to go about our business well. We pray that you will protect our country. We do not want any ravishing from the storm. 
but we understand that even if it does affect us, that you've given us the capacity to do the preparation that is necessary that will mitigate the negative impact. So Father, take control of our leader, Prime Minister Motley. Take control of those who are working even as we speak to secure our country. Protect us and we commit everything to your care and keeping. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Amen. I'd just like to say one other thing for the conscious that this is August. And I'm conscious that this is August and that there are a number of people who may be out of the island or on vacation. Um, if you know you have neighbors and you can reach them and you can help secure their properties um, in those instances, then you may want to reach out to them um, because it is August. We do also have a number of people out um, and we will work together. Um, but let me just say, um, Press, can you want Um, I'm being advised that government's fuel pump at Central Purchasing and wherever else will open at 3 o'clock for all of the government departments. And I'm using this opportunity because it's the quickest way to get news to people as well. Um, and, and let me say to the public officers and to the private sector members, we have actually had more meetings over the course of the last year to get ourselves ready and more preparation and more measurement and more resources than I've ever known the country to have had because we take the consequences of climate change very seriously and we know that just because we may have even this encounter it does not preclude us from having other encounters this season we now live in a different world and we live in a world where we in the Caribbean did not cause the earth to be warming at the rate at which it is warming or for sea levels to be rising at the rate at which it is rising. We are experiencing and seeing things that never happened to the extent to which it has before. Whether it is the sargassum weed that has literally taken over all of the coasts, especially the windward coasts throughout the entire region and up into the United States of America and Mexico now. Um, similarly, we are seeing fires in the Amazon going on for weeks and that has been the subject of commentary by the French president at the G7 meeting this weekend. This is not a normal world in which we live in and therefore we have to be prepared for a new reality. There's an old African proverb that says when the music changes, the dance too must change. The music in this world has changed. We live in a continuous threat, under a continuous threat of climate change, bringing greater intensity and new climatic events. The government will never be able to do it on its own. And therefore, the national effort to mobilize and to take care of each other and to take care of yourself first and foremost, and to ask for help if you can't do it, to the government, to the private sector, to the churches and civil society, reach out. But this is our new reality. May God bless each and every one of you, and may God bless Barbados. Thank you.